Hi everyone, it's Moj Taylor again, and hopefully if you're back, you've enjoyed the previous videos. Today the theme is going to be talking about the weirdest societies that exist at universities. Why are these important? Because clubs and societies are the main other thing you should get involved in apart from your degree and also one of the factors of choosing your degree should be finding out which clubs and societies you can actually join when you get to a university and also if you can't join one you can actually set one up yourself. I think usually you need five signatures or something to say we have created this society uh, and then you can basically charge people subs, subscriptions to join each year and you fund, fund whatever you want to do. Uh, but I'm going to run down the top weirdest societies to try and get you guys excited about the possibilities of what else you can get involved in at universities which add to making yourself an interesting person so you're not just a bookworm. Here's my ones that we're going to go through. Uh, Disney Society. Yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory isn't it? Um, don't know if you get to choose the Disney films. There's some pretty scary Disney films as well. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of a horror society as well. Quidditch. You can do Quidditch. Uh, whoever runs this society, by the way, I'm not naming universities in this because I want you guys to go and just Google these so you can find them out yourself. That's part of the fun. But whoever invented the Quidditch society, you absolute liars, okay? I've only seen Harry Potter once. You cannot play Quidditch without, oh yeah, what's the key element? Oh yeah, flying! What are you doing, you nutters? If you go around without flying, playing Quidditch, I'm pretty sure that is just called sweeping up the ground whilst throwing a ball around. 20 Minute Society, pretty good. Uh, I've heard about this one. Basically, you get text something that whatever you get, you have to then go and do and achieve it and send back some evidence within 20 minutes. It exists at quite a few universities. If someone had told me by text, get your assignments done, in the next 19 minutes 59 seconds I probably would have got a better mark at university. So it's a pretty good society that one. Uh, as long as it's not something like you got 20 minutes to oh yeah slap a granny or something like that. Please don't go and slap grannies. It's not nice. Well depends how evil the granny is. Medieval reenactment society. Brilliant. Everyone's jumping on the bandwagon. These did exist before Game of Thrones but they're still pretty cool. I love the idea of a medieval reenactment society. Which also brings me on to Viking societies. Yes, grow a beard. Apparently you learn how to make Viking, I'm not sure if it's gonna be armor and chainmail, but you learn how to make Viking clothing, which is pretty cool. Also, you might learn just things like chopping wood or building a boat. Imagine that. What else did you get up to at university when you're in a job interview? What else did you get up to at university? Um, I built a Viking longbow, brilliant. And I smelted some metal, I think that's the term. Sorry historians if you're watching. And I made an ax. Actually, that wouldn't make me want to employ someone if they could make axes and had a load in their store cupboard. Maybe the beard, though. Quite trustworthy, isn't it? Fighting as well. That's the Viking society. Fighting. You just learn to fight. Not outside a pub. Well, that probably would help you. Reenactment fighting, I think. Feasts and banquets. Why would you not want to join the Viking society? I pretty much think that's my number one one that I wish I'd joined, actually. Curry Appreciation Society. Yes. Why would you not want to join that? If anything, just to make your bowels stronger and your belly stronger and rock hard, not in terms of abs, although you might burn off a lot with a lot of chili. They say that's good. If you've got a cold or you want to exercise, then I'd say join the Curry Society, go as hot as possible and just sweat out the fat. Hula Hoop Society, brilliant. Not much more to say on that, is there? Tiddlywink Society, I like that one. Tiddlywink Society. Not even really sure what Tiddlywinks is, but it just sounds cute, doesn't it? I guarantee it's not fighting with people in bars. The Sheila and her dog society, which is one of the most famous ones. Uh, apparently, you eat sweets and read children's stories. This is the creepiest part, in the voice of a six-year-old. Right. Suddenly, as I'm saying it out loud, it's got a lot less happy and a lot more creepy. Why are you doing this? And apparently, uh, you the dress code is strictly dressing gowns and a cuddly teddy bear that you have to bring. Strictly dressing gowns. What if I want to bring a nightgown and a teddy bear that's not so cuddly? Do I get kicked out? I'd like to see that happen. Assassin society? Yes. Not real weapons, please. Apparently they use Nerf guns. Everyone likes Nerf guns. Do you remember those? It's basically, it's a massive game of hide and seek. I think where both people are trying to hide but also trying to seek each other out at the same time. And maybe uh, really injure someone in the eye with a Nerf gun. Jailbreak society? Yeah. 
not actually having to go to prison first. What you have to do is imagine that you are breaking out as far as possible from your university. And I know actually some people probably would consider university a jail if they're doing a course they don't like. A psychological jail. But apparently you go as far away from your university as possible. People have apparently, there's myths that people have made it to Australia, at least to Europe, until Brexit happens. Might be harder. Stitch and bitch society. I like this one mainly because um, I like to do one of the two. Won't reveal which one. Kaigus society. I think I'm saying this right. Japanese people, please get in touch. Kaigus, kigus, kigus. Basically, massive Japanese onesies that look like animals. That's fun, isn't it? Yeah. Bit weird. The more I say out these societies, the more most of them just sound pretty weird. You might not want to mention them in interviews. Well, you might do. Actually, that would terrify me if anyone out there is terrified of animals. I am terrified of antelope. No, I'm not. What am I terrified of? I'm terrified of owls. That would be pretty freaky. A parliament of owls. Just a big group of them. Owls in onesies chasing me through a university campus. Stuff of nightmares. The beekeeping society? That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. I presume you don't just go and hide a beekeeping... Do they call it a hut? I presume you don't just go and hide that in someone's room. That would be the ultimate prank. Pretty dangerous, actually. Could be life-threatening if anyone's seen My Girl with Macaulay Culkin. Very dangerous. I got stung once in the ear by a bee, and then I slapped it, and it killed the bee, and I couldn't hear for a week. Um, not sure I like that one either. Beekeeping society, always free honey though. Never goes out of date. Apparently you can still eat Egyptian honey. That was found in pyramids. Hummus society, yes, good stuff. Maybe combine with the curry society. Have a kind of uh, hummus curry fusion. Might work, might not. Hummus on naan bread. Tonics Caramel Wafer Appreciation Society. Tonics Caramel Wafer Appreciation Society. Boring. They're nice, but if there's that much effort to say it, really? Robot football. I'm just picturing it. Great. Extreme ironing. Yes. That means strapping an ironing board, and you sure you've got to be hardcore, you've got to go full big ironing board, not mini ones. Proper big ironing board. Climbing maybe to the top of a giant rock and just uh, getting some photos of yourself. Ironing your clothes and you have to take clothes apparently to iron as well. So you can prove afterwards it's been done. Competitive eating. Yeah, man versus food stuff basically. Oh, hummus society? Fused with curry appreciation society, fused with competitive eating. Oh, they could challenge each other. I think I'd probably be sick from necking more hummus in the space of five minutes than curry. I can't be sure. Custard wrestling, another food. Get all these food societies, fuse them together. Competitive curry eating versus competitive hummus eating whilst wrestling in custard. Brilliant. Sack racing? Yeah. Brilliant. Nicolas Cage appreciation? Yes. Good stuff. Con Air? Brilliant. Raising Arizona? Brilliant film as well. The Rock, Mario Kart Society. There's gonna be a lot of video game ones. Mario Kart Society, I like it. Table Football Society, why not? I think that's it. Remember that you can actually join very useful, I say useful actually, I love those societies. Some of them you should just do because they give you a bloody good laugh at university. So that when you're doing all the stressful times, you can go down to the Muffin Appreciation Society, that did exist in my university, and you can just eat some muffins and chill out. Or you can have a stitch and you can have a bitch, why not? Or you can grow a beard, go and chop some wood like a Viking, feel a lot better, or shoot a Nerf gun at someone who you're trying to assassinate. I love it. As well as clubs like hockey, football, netball, rugby, politics societies, religious groups, debating societies, theater groups, comedy groups. Guys, the point is use your time at university. And that means when you're researching a university as well, you should be researching the clubs and societies you can join just as much as the degree. It should be one of the deciding factors. Always remember, there is no good ranking table out there. Don't believe any of them. The best ranking table is the one that you create for yourself. And some of those factors might be these weird and wonderful societies. Uh, if you like this, keep following, you know, subscribe, all that malarkey, and I'll see you soon for another video.